I hate clothes. Why would you say that? What? It's true. It's true. I don't like clothes. And I don't like you. If you want to fight me, fight me. Listen, I hate clothes, okay? Wait, no. Clothes hate me. I see them, I love them, I buy them, and then this happens. Ooh, can't wait to wear this brand new shirt that I just bought with my very own dollar bills. It's gonna look so bomb next to that other stuff that I spent US currency on. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Why is this looking like that? No, 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 no. This can't be happening again. It's turning ugly right before my eyes. I got all kinds of clothes in my closet that I refuse to wear. But somehow those clothes are still on the hangers. I don't, who can buy, who's buying all these hangers? I done darn near went broke buying hangers for clothes that I don't even wear. Here's how much money you have. Also, I live in a box. 420 square feet. Entrance to the hallway counts as a dining room. My space no longer accommodates all of the clothes that I have. Socks in the sink. What? So before this turns into an episode of Snapped, where I put my clothes into a pile and create a Facebook event for a community bonfire, I think I know what I gotta do. I'm giving away some clothes on Poshmark. I got all these clothes and I don't need them. Some of this stuff ain't gotta go home, but it gotta get the hell being, y'all. Step up your wardrobe is what I came here to do. Y'all know Poshmark, she was in, we went to school with her. She's where you go to buy or sell your Nike, okay, your Louis Vuitton. Fuck the mile in the Louis Vuitton. Ew, promise to never do that again. This is my guilt mirror. Poshmark be out here marking stuff down 70% actually caring about my wallet and it's just, it's just so beautiful. Right. I never seen someone cry with the tears not coming out. So I, I just wanna make sure you're okay. Because it's an inner cry. I've been using it for about a year now just listing all of the stuff that I just no longer use. And this time around, I listed a whole bunch of stuff. Like this super cool Hey Arnold jacket from Members Only's collaboration with Nickelodeon. This yellow bomber jacket from Forever 21 that I wore once and forgot about until right now. This other jean jacket that has a ton of cool zippers because cool kids have tons of cool zippers. This really chic grid print button up that helped me pass seventh grade geometry. This striped shirt from that one time I cosplayed as a Foot Locker referee. This deep neck shirt, great for playing chess on your chest. This two piece jaded London set that cost me an arm and a leg that'll have that thing back there popping out. And then I've also listed a whole bunch of accessories. Glasses, hats, belts, hair accessories, that sort of stuff. A ton of y'all have already purchased things from me off of Poshmark, so I'll list the link down below if you wanna download the app. Some of the stuff I'm giving away. Okay, literally gonna list some things for $3 just to cover the shipping costs. So basically now that I'm selling all of my clothes, I had to go thrifting to replenish. I went to Savers, I went to Buffalo Exchange, I went to... Goodwill. Savers and Goodwill for me were pretty much about fall basics. Now, I know she's a little boring, okay? It's just the basic. But I got this shirt from Goodwill. It's extremely comfortable. It's from Gap, okay? So it's like well-made. The color is beautiful. Fun tip, these little beanies are $3 at Walmart and I just got one in every single color. Actually, no, I didn't. The other colors were ugly. I like to roll my beanies up like fisherman hats. Just keep the top of the dome warm. And then boom, a cute little fall fit, yard. Ew. Don't you ever say that again. Basic t-shirts are fun as well because you can sort of tuck them in. Come on, what's not to love about a tucked in shirt? Hipster, he's got style. He's bold. It looks good from all angles. Okay, you see that? I know you see that thing back there. I'm pretty much obsessed. We also got this cute, sophisticated baby blue one. It's also real chic. Roll the sleeve up on that joint and boom, it looks like you don't have student loans. For some reason, it's giving me like belt vibes. Like I would wear a black belt with this. But baby, I don't think that's necessary today because look at how cute this is. Aww. How are you on geek? I mean, you're not that cute. <laughs> this one right here is really boring. Like she's reading black, but she's actually a dark navy. Shout out to my Rihanna fans out there. It's just a simple t-shirt. It's from Uniqlo. Uniqlo always has great fitting stuff. And if I must say myself, cause I'm the only one here talking. She fits pretty well. This is just something that I would wear like underneath something else. This is a layer. Fall is about layers, regulating your temperature with the clothes that you're wearing. It's cold outside, but I'm still looking like a daddy. This one I had formally written off as a mistake. Goodwill was closing and so I didn't have time to try this one on and I got home and I realized that it was so small. I like my clothes to not be, um, uh -oh. Restricting my breathing. Just put it on again and I kind of like it like this. It says Paris across the front, which we, 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 we. Why would you say that? Like you put me in such an uncomfortable situation. And something, 
It say something on, on there. I'm gonna do the old tuckaroo, and then boom, okay, with a little cute bag, some accessories, a hat, a different hat maybe. This will be real cute. Go to Marcus, go to Marcus, go. Next up, we have this little shirt. This says Esmeralda. I don't know, girl, it's like a coffee shop or a bookshop or something. And y'all know what time it is. Come on. Come on. It's serving me coffee. It's serving me fall time. Well, pass me the almond milk latte and keep the ice, baby. Burr, it's cold. Look at this cute little sweater, y'all. It's from Gap. It fits me well in a way that it's, like, spooky. Like, who dropped this off at the Goodwill so that I could find it? Why did they drop it off in the first place? When did they drop it off? And why? How did I find it? This is true crime. <laughs> Anyway, this is a beautiful sweater. Finally, I changed my pants. Look at that. They're cute. They're gray. They're not snug at all. Like, I'm not, like, you know, restricting. <laughs> Y'all have to see this. I'm so excited about this freaking shirt. It's a waffled, like, textured sweatshirt. A lot of people might look at this shirt and be like, wow, that's a basic shirt. And now we're going to put you in jail because you lied and said that it was cool. But then lock me up, sis. Because this right here, rustic, hipster movement, which is great. Like, I feel like an artist in this. It's just the vibe that I've been going for. Something that says he dresses very simple, he might be rich. And it's waffled. Do you see that texture? Watch out or I'll make you a coffee. I'll skateboard back home. I'm serving you. I own a coffee shop and I don't got nothing else to do. It's a cute pink denim. You can roll the sleeves up as if you are about to wash clothes by hand. A little bit of that action. A little bit of that action. Okay. Okay, I'm back in the waffle shirt because I remember that there's some pants that sort of only look good with this one shirt. Bruh, look at this dude. <laughs> Wait till you see the. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> I thought that they were a really good idea, and they still are a really good idea. I actually really do like these pants. They're not something that people are used to seeing, I think, yet. They're like kind of boxy, they don't taper in, and they're really comfy, like what the heck? I'm actually kind of obsessed with these, and you can also, you know, cuff them on up. They still look cute, like I'm kind of obsessed. Girl, sit down. They are kind of weird fitting like at the top here, but that also helps in keeping this tight up here and this loose down there. Are you feeling it? I know you feeling it. Are you feeling it? You know I'm feeling it. Turtleneck, okay, is from Goodwill, and this is the, oh my God, this turtleneck is so beautiful. I think of fall, I also think of turtlenecks. Not actual turtlenecks. That's weird. It's not like one of those ones that you have to flip over. It just already is. You already know I'm gonna try to tuck this in and see if you look better. And when you look at that. Girl, sit down. I feel so sophisticated, you know? I feel like I'm ushering in fall with a level of professionalism. Whoa, okay, another turtleneck. And also some lovely pants from Buffalo Exchange. Buffalo Exchange is a place where you can find like really cool, hip, trendy pieces because Buffalo Exchange is very picky with what they allow to come through their doors. So yes, Carol, they'll give you money for your 1998 race her jacket would emma chamberlain wear that no hence you can find a lot of like trendy cool things at buffalo exchange but for cheap like these pants okay they're from the brand loss it was 60 dollars, but i got them for 20 dollars. like they're stretchy like what i got this turtleneck from savers which is also just a really nice well-made turtleneck i have a lot of jackets here this one is like it's a brand called joe rocket probably is one of my best thrift store finds because look at how this fits look at how she ate that it's almost a crop sort of situation, but it falls right at my hip line. Rain jacket material, and it has like all this cool zipper detail, and it just gives me like shape. This jacket was $10. $10 at Savers. <laughs> What'd you say? What'd you say? I can't hear you. My confidence is too loud. <laughs> These pants got me feeling like Jadena, or one of those people that stands outside of the Buckingham Palace. I feel British, love. Like, do you see this? Do you feel it? It's comfy. These are from the same brand as the last pants, Lost. And look, look. Is there really any more else to explain here? They have this cute detail going down the side that elongates your leg. They taper in nicely. There's no like bulging. Huh? You know, in the crotch area. And it's just a nice soft fit all around. Like, nothing's like too tight. I'm just over wearing clothes that are uncomfortable. Like, no. Comfortable only. He was a skater, but she said, see you later, boy. Yeah. So, um, yeah. This is what, this is another one. This is another outfit. These pants. 
$12. This shirt, can't remember, but it's really cute. Look at this line. It's like a baseball situation in these pants. What can I say? I ain't gonna sit here and cat. I don't even know what that means. But I usually can't pull off like this color, this wash of jeans. But I feel like these work, they look a little bit more expensive, a little bit more, you know, professional. They're stretchy because I don't know why people make jeans that aren't stretchy. Like, give us some room, sis. Now look at that. What is that? An oversized large jacket, but it's thin. So it's like, you know, just when it's a little chilly outside, you can put this on. A hoe never gets cold. Huh? Yeah. Y'all, I'm not gonna lie, I'm losing steam. I am tired, it's about 11 p.m. My chips are a lot. I think we're at the last outfit, but these pants are pretty much the star of the show. They're striped, but it's two different types of black material. The so one like reflects light and the other one doesn't, so it looks kinda cool. They're pretty comfy, but if I gain like three pounds, it's over. This material right here is a little tight, but the rest of it is pretty comfy. I wanted to end with this outfit because this one can go with just about all the jackets that I have left. So first up, girl from Buffalo Exchange. This is from the brand Reason. I got this jacket for $39. Ow, ouch, ouch. That shit hurting. Spending money is physically painful for me and my family. It's a condition um, and she's just like an overcoat, you know what I mean? And she's like a little long. Peak coats or overcoats or whatever these are called are really great for the fall because they're not huge. Last but not least, or maybe it is the least, I don't know. We got a trench coat. You can't do fall without a trench coat. Well, you sort of can, but like... This one is from London Fall. There's so many of these out there like being resold as vintage, but they're pretty popular. It comes with like this like removable fur on the inside. And I sort of like it with the fur removed because it's a little less bulky at the top. At first I was like, what is that? This is like very grandpa-ish and I don't like it. But then it sort of grew on me and I was like, oh, this is stylish. Like I like this. I just imagine myself walking through the streets of London, pulling out my iPhone 47 and just like making calls and just doing a darn thing. So that's pretty much it for today's video, y'all. If you saw something that you liked, go ahead and download the Poshmark app and follow me at Will on a Whim on Poshmark and shop my closet. I assure you all the clothes that I thrifted will end up on Poshmark at some point. Shout out to Poshmark for sponsoring this video because what a great excuse, you know what I mean, to show off what kind of fashion sense I got, you know what I mean? <laughs> I ain't gonna tell you no more. Thank y'all for watching. Don't forget to click that subscribe button and don't forget to follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat and my second YouTube channel, Will on a Whim More. Hope to see y'all back here real soon for another episode of Will on a Whim. But until then, bye.